Okay, hey everybody. Uh, mailbag is uh, ready to start. I guess it's 10 o'clock. Wow, right? Well, 10.01, I guess I'm about a minute late. Still, <clears throat> here we are. And uh, we're going to get right to it as soon as I check the camera angles. And the microphone, good enough. I think that's good enough for me. Hey, stop drinking my coffee. Oh my gosh, Mayhem has to try everything. Mayhem helped with my breakfast, which was, I had pears on, uh, I had some stewed pears that I'd previously stewed in some, uh, let's see, ginger and chai tea, uh, which made them look really ugly and tea stained, but they were delicious. Anyway, I put the, used the stewed pears on some French toast this morning, and uh, this is Flim Flam. Mayhem uh, had to try the French toast part. Didn't like the, the pears very much even though they were delicious. A uh, little mayhem just follows me around like a puppy dog now, but she's going to get adopted along with uh, Bam Boozle uh, next weekend. So uh, not too much longer to stay here. Of course, they're polar opposites as far as that goes, where mayhem, I hardly, I mean, uh, Bam Boozle, I hardly see at all. Uh, she just does her own thing most of the time. She likes to hang out in this pantry back here. Here she comes. Uh, she likes to hang out in this cat tree all day long. And uh, also, if I want to pick her up, she kind of makes me chase her around. Whereas Mayhem here follows me like a puppy dog and needs to be where I am. And if I go through a door and close it, she just sits there and meows at the door until she's like, well, it's not going to open. Uh, and if she hears me talking, and she'll just come running. She doesn't want to be held right now. But uh, they're gonna go. They're gonna be such a good pair together. I think such such opposites really make a, a fun team for adoption, in my opinion. Uh, so the good news this today, the the really good news is I did see that I got a message from Dawes telling me that we have adopters for all the kittens and their mom and cahoots, which is really cool. Um, but I just I just saw it pop up in my notifications, so I haven't actually read the messages yet. I don't know anything about who the adopters are, where they are. Um, I do think that the two kittens are going together and Cahoots is going on her own. Um, but that's uh, that's pretty much all that I could see from the notification. So later today, I'm going to dig into that and probably try to uh, email those people and let them know that I know that they're approved and that they can come pick up their kittens basically any time. Uh, we've already got the endowment sorted. They're already all spayed and neutered. They've had plenty of time to recover from that. So there's, there's nothing... Um, there's nothing more to wait for as far as that goes. Sad to say, because I'm definitely going to miss all of them, even their mom, Cahoots, who has, uh, you know, it's been um, a little bit of a challenge with, with her not getting along so great with the faculty. Um, but that aside, she is the most wonderful, easy going cat. She's just so easy to care for and to hang out with. Like if, if I were, um, well, she reminds me a lot, in fact, even appearance-wise, of the cat that I had when I was uh, just kind of a bachelor hanging out with his cat, uh, you know, way, way back when. Uh, just me and one cat, uh, Riley, who was also, um, uh, uh, well, he was more black and white than gray and white, but otherwise could have been uh, Cahoots family, you know. Um, so uh, so she'd be perfect just like he was, where he also really, at first, it, it took a little convincing to get him to get along with other cats. But um, other than that, you know, um, I do remember at first he, he didn't want to be held too much, you know, but uh, that's the first cat that I really worked with to, to get him to enjoy um, being, you know, friendly with me the way that I wanted. And I think Cahoots has been, you know, already taken partway down that same road. Uh, where, you know, I can pick her up and hold her like a baby all that I want, um, but she's not going to necessarily choose that at this point. Um, and if I go to her in her room when she's in her favorite bed, she'll just sit there and let me pet her for as long as I want, you know, she just loves being petted and, and like that. Of course, she does still like food more than anything else, but she's just going to be so great for the right person. And I know uh, whoever it is that is uh, approved for her is got to be the right person, so... Very excited about that and the kittens too. Uh, I'm going to double check this camera because it looks crooked to me. Uh, do we look crooked? Do I look crooked to you? Do I? I guess I do a little bit. It just does look like I'm sitting at just the slightest bit of an angle. Let me see if I can fix that without getting any tools out. There we go. Is that better? A 
There we go. We were just looking at the whole world the way that uh, Kahootie does. Oh, speaking of hooties, I've got my Scooty uh, t-shirt on, which has got, apparently I got some food on it today while I was cooking breakfast. I don't know how well you can see that, but this is on our store. I've got, still got to get the other designs on our store. I've still got to get the mailbags uploaded, but I think we're almost, if not entirely, caught up on the micros. I still have to automate that properly. I've still got a lot of tech stuff that is just pending. Uh, I guess they call it technical debt. Um, well, we'll get to it. Um, but yeah, the exciting news is adopters for everybody, and that's that is super exciting news. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to share with you before we got started opening things. Uh, what was it though? What was it? Anybody? No. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just jump in then. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got a stack, a huge stack of uh, what looks like mostly Christmas letters, cards back here. So. I don't know if it's better to try to do all these because this, th if this were a normal day without this stack of cards, I would say for sure uh, we can do mailbag today all in one day. But uh, given the stack of cards and um, I don't know my tendency to ramble, this this might be a two-parter as well. That might be kind of be the new normal for us, uh, Saturday and Sunday perhaps. I don't know. But hey, let's just play it by ear. We're just gonna just do whatever seems right to us in the moment and uh, keep rolling and see what happens. So. Uh, let's get a letter opener here. Uh, 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 if I can get my fingers on it, we've got a pineapple letter opener. And uh, just start with whatever's on top here. So, I think I'd like to start announcing where the letters are from. I don't usually say that. Uh, you know, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but I wonder if that would be okay with everybody. Raise your, raise your hands if it's okay. Let me look. Can I see? Is it okay if I announce where the letters are from? I can't see you guys. You got to raise your hands really high if you're in the back. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe not today. Uh, maybe we'll just start saying that I'm going to do that, and that way people that are going to send stuff in uh, can uh, let me know. You know. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to start doing that as saying, you know, this is this is from you know Joe from uh, Timbuktu or whatever it happens to be. Uh, that that might be the fun way to do it. I don't know. Let me know. There's a donation in here. It's so wonderful. Thank you so much for that. But the, the card is a cat wearing a uh, scarf sitting in the snow. And he's got snow on his head. And he looks, he's got the expression of a cat who's got snow on his head. And it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and professors, thank you so much for all the wonderful work you do for the mom cats, their kittens, and pregnots lucky enough to attend the academy. Unfortunately, I was hospitalized this past November, so I'm just now catching up on your new mom, Thimble, and her adorable trio. Well, you didn't miss too much. You know, they're only three weeks old tomorrow, so wow, they are so ahead of the curve. I know they seem like they're over four weeks old, but I hope you're feeling better and that you were able to write because you're feeling better. Uh, let's see. Have a wonderful Christmas, and I've enclosed a little gift to help the Academy do what it does best, provide excellent care and love for all their students. Season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, yours truly, Suzanne, who is Xanadu on Discord, but that's Xanadu with a Z, like Suzanne, I see what you did there, Suzanne, uh, Xanadu on Discord, so uh, not the typical X Xanadu, though, a Z Xanadu, I like it, uh, thank you, Suzanne, so much, the donation was super generous, too, uh, I really appreciate that. So I put it. I put it in the box so that we'll get that cashed uh, in due time. Uh, I'm, I'm behind on that, but I'm behind on everything, so it hardly bears mentioning. All right, this one, uh, the return address says Gracie V on Discord, and uh, we've got little kitten stickers all over it, wearing hats, and it says Merry Christmas. And inside we have, oh, we've got a Kleban um, picture uh, drawing uh, art um, cartoon. Yes, that's the word of what appears to be a mom cat answering the door to a basket of kittens that someone has left her, which is in fact how kittens are delivered. I know we make a big deal of it, but that's how it works in real life. And also another donation here. Wow, thank you so much, Gracie B. Um, that's a lot. So uh, season's greetings to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Season's greetings. Hope you have a happy Christmas and a wonderful new year. Thank you so very much for all you do for cats, kittens, and your viewers. I don't think you have any idea how much your channel is appreciated by myself and others. Love, Gracie V on Discord. P.S. 
glad Miss Thimble didn't have this many kittens. Oh, well, I guess I'm glad for her sake um, and our sake, but uh, boy, wouldn't that have been cute, that whole basket full of kittens. Uh, thank you so much for the donation, Gracie V. That was very kind of you. All right. Uh, let's see here. This is from overseas, uh, which is probably the best I can say since I covered up the address. Uh, those are the things I tend to say uh, when, when we got it from another country, but I'd like to get a little more specific or at least, you know, say cities or something. So uh, keep that in mind and uh, feel free to let me know if you do send a card or a note of how you feel about me saying uh, your first name and what, what town you're from as well, maybe, or area. I think that would be fun. Uh, anyway, this is a beautiful Christmas painting. It looks like a Thomas Kincaid. Oh, it is a Thomas Kincaid. Wow, I was going to say it looks like one, but there's the signature right in the corner. It actually is. Of course, they've added sparkles to it, so it's very sparkly. Uh, a painter of light in more than one way. Uh, but it says something in a foreign language, and I can't even tell by reading it what language it might be. Uh, it says Bulldog uh, Karaksonit, uh, which I'm sure I am mispronouncing. Uh, but a lovely, lovely, oh, and there's a, a note all on the back. Inside, it's, oh, no, inside it's got an entire poem uh, in another language. Uh, and I don't think, I don't know if this is going to tell us where this is from or if I'm going to have to look on the back. I can see it was printed in Budapest, though. How about that? Hallmark cards. Um, well, let me read the, the card first, and then we'll see if we're going to try to do the poem. Oh, there's a translation, though, which makes it easier on me. Good for that. Dear Dr. DJ, Mr. A, and faculty here. In the meantime, I'll let you guys look at this side. How cool is that? Um, I'd like to say thank you for Kitten Academy. My husband and I are living in Hungary. All right, so there we go. In Europe, uh, you say yes. Well, okay, good. Just to know it's not the other Hungary, of course. And watching KA since June 2020, and I joined Discord in March 2021. When the COVID hit the world in 2020, I was a bit under myself, like a lot of people around me. I couldn't stop thinking of it. One day, my husband found a live YouTube channel where seven little orange kittens were sleeping and nursing and squeaking. They were the Weebops. I fell in love with them at first sight. My all-time favorite Weebop is Bessie, but I love all of them. Bebop, too. Kitten Academy brings joy and fun to our life every day since that day. We can't afford any pets now, but we learned a lot about cats watching KA, so I'm sure that when the time comes, we will be good parents. So I can't thank you enough for all the hard work you're doing. And I'd also like to say thank you to all the Aduders, too. I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love and spoogles. Um, Ballo from Discord. Ballo, B I think that says B-A-L-O. It's handwritten, so it's a little hard to read. And then the second uh, part of the name from Discord, I can't even make out the beginning. Uh, O-L-Y-A. Is it... Um, O N O L Y O N O N O L. I don't know. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, P.S. The picture on the other side of this Christmas card says "Merry Christmas" in Hungarian, and there's a poem by a famous Hungarian po poet, Andre Adi, who lived in the 19th century. I tried to translate it, so please enjoy it. Oh wow, translation. Okay. Uh, uh, the the harsh noise of the big city hurts my soul. How good it would be to celebrate at home. How good it would be to pray, just like before, from a pure heart. How good it would be to calm down. How good it would be to forget everything. How good it would be to be a child who's playing. With true faith, with childish, childish heart, make peace with the world, to be blessed in love. Well, that that is poetry. I mean, you, you definitely have written poetry there. Uh, and I don't know how accurate the translation may be, but that is wonderful. Uh, thank you. Uh, that's some, some charming free verse there. All right. <clears throat> I, I won't butcher your language any further by trying to read it in, uh, in, in, uh, in, in uh, not in English. Uh, yes, in Hungarian. Um, thank you so much for this note. Uh, I, I like the phrase, I was a bit under myself. Um, that's, uh, I, 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 that must be, um, I, I mean, that's not an English idiom that I'm familiar with. So, uh, that's, that's fun. And uh, thank you so much for the kind words. And boy, I loved uh, Bessie and the Bebops just came at the right time for everybody, didn't they? Uh, I know they, they really made me, brought me a lot of joy too at that time. Uh, and I think a lot of people. So, um, you know, sometimes 
sometimes things just work out the way you need them to, I guess. And which seems like a terrible thing to say about uh, the time of COVID. But uh, yeah, there you are. You know, it's been making the best of uh, what was going on at the moment. All right, uh, mailbag optional. I know things are insane. Oh, well, things are insane. Uh, me, most of all, perhaps. Oh, it's like a, a bunch of, uh, is this catnip? I think there's catnip all in this card. Wow, I see a plot here to get the cats to eat these ornaments, which are very cute. And what a fun card. It just pops up into a set of three ornaments and it says, Merry Christmas, festive greetings, and Happy New Year. Heart, uh, Catherine plays with yarn, plays with yarn on, uh, I'm assuming on Discord, plays with yarn. Uh, although it really looks like it says plays with yam. Uh, yeah, because, you know, the sweet potatoes are fun. Uh, anyway, I do believe this is catnip, so we're going to sit this here and see how long Maggie's already eyeballing it. Wait until she gets a whiff of it. Got some catnip here on my leg. Yeah, stick a little catnip in your card. Oh, Custard's going to check it out. All right, he must smell that. It's like, all right, let's do it. Uh, thank you so much, Plays with Yam. All right, next up. Um, okay. Uh, wow, these are some beautiful doves, and one's holding uh, what would be a, an olive branch. Uh, anyway, it says, DJ and Mr. A, peace, hope, joy, love, Janet and Matt from your KA family, indeed. Uh, very sweet. Sweet, simple, to the point. This one has an adorable kitty stickers on it. There we go. Look at this little sleepy guy. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. My KA family, you know, I really do think of you guys, uh, in a sense, uh, uh, as family. I just, I certainly think of everybody as, and I don't say it often enough, I know, uh, but just an important part of my life and uh you guys you guys help me at, at least as much as i've helped any of you certainly more i would say if i can be so presumptuous uh it just it just means everything to me that's that's why that's another reason why i love uh getting the cards and letters from everybody it's just it's a real direct way to uh interact i guess i don't, I don't know if that's what i'm looking for anyway here we have an absolutely beautiful uh, little uh, oil painting, I guess. It's three kittens, all fascinated watching birds out on the windowsill. They're, the kittens are inside and the birds are outside, of course. But their faces are so perfectly captured by this artist, they really look like, like little kittens. Uh, and it says, copyright 96, M.K. Edwards, who I'm not familiar with. Oh, Martha Edwards. Uh, bird watching, that's cute. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, wow. These are some beautiful stickers inside too. I really like the stickers on the outside and we've got some of the same style stickers here for me to add to my collection, which, uh, someday of course will be applied. So those are really cute. These three, I love that cute little cartoony style, yeah, but these are beautiful. Look at those. Wow. Uh, what would you call this? It's not paisley, but it's, uh, you know, it's all these beautiful colors and patterns and that's really something. Those are some great stickers. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Uh, let's see. You say, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty and students, a warm and cozy wish for a happy holiday and a wonderful new year. Wanted to send a quick note to say thank you for all you do for the mom cats, kittens, and pregnots who attend the academy, and for all the peace and joy you bring to the KA community by simply being you. Merry Christmas, Callie's moms, and Callie and Oscar. Well, thank you so much, Callie's Moms. I, I don't have a place here to put these stickers so that they go directly up to my sticker collection. Um, but I, I'll set them aside so that they don't go away with the cards, I guess. Uh, put them under the box so the kittens don't chomp them in the meantime. Buddy, do you want to eat that? Because you should. I think this was sent for you to try to chew on, and you're just knocking it over. That's silly. Hi, Custard. You seem... You seem like you're having a tired morning, buddy. I know. You need more coffee, huh? All right. How are we doing on time? All right. 1020. Well, if we're still doing cards at 1030, maybe we'll switch to opening some packages and see what happens from there. This is from Astro, it says, right on the outside. Uh, and it's a beautiful, uh, it's got like an Art Deco frame around it. It's got a picture of a kitten in a pod, and it says, Naughty list? Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> Very cute. Aw. Uh, this, this might even be Astro. Uh, let's see. I guess it is Astro. Wow, what a great photo, though. My goodness. 
Uh, also, a similar photo on the inside. I think it's him in a tunnel, and it says, Eat, drink, be meowy. Warm wishes this holiday season from Astro and his humans, Matthew and Danielle. And it says, Thank you both and all of KA for everything you do. Happy holidays. Thank you again for raising such lovable and perfect kittens. I can never thank you both enough for helping make Astro the most curious, intelligent, cuddly, sassy, and affectionate cat anyone could ask for. I'm still pinching myself every time I look at him. He has the biggest personality I've ever seen in a cat. From Danielle and Astro. Well, thank you. You know, I can't honestly take credit for that, uh, but it's so sweet of you to give me credit for it. Nonetheless, uh, this is an amazing, beautiful photo with the A for Astro I see up at the top. Uh, very cool. And also on the back, you've got a color photo of him through the same tunnel. He must love that tunnel. And it's a quote on the bottom from Astro that just says, meow, 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 et cetera. Astro 2022. That's an adorable card. Thank you so much for that. That's very cute. All right, Custard, let me have this one now. Let's see what this is. From Cinna and Mutini. That's a Cinna and M-E-W-T-I, Mutini, perhaps. Uh, note and close, safe to read on air. Perfect, perfect. Uh, looks like this got shredded a little bit in shipping uh, those postal equipment. Let's see here. Uh, a little smiley kitty on the back too. So first we have a card that says, may your days be purry and bright. Meowy Christmas from Cinna and Mutiny. And this must be Cinna and Mutiny here. Also on the front, wow, they are some very good looking kitties. What a face in this, this picture on the, the front where they're looking at the camera. Uh, very intense. And the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone at KA. My husband and I came across you by accident in 2017. Kitten Academy came up as a YouTube recommendation and he clicked on it. It was nighttime and all the cats were sleeping. I sarcastically said to him, so what, we're just going to sit around watching cats sleep on YouTube now? We both laughed and turned something else on. The next day, KA popped again and this time I became curious and checked out your website. I read all about who you were and what did what you did and memorized the names of all the faculty. The next day, I learned the names of the mom cats and kittens at the academy at the time. The coffee cats were just starting to graduate and Angel's Fish were maybe a couple of weeks old. We became hooked at that point and haven't missed a class since. Now here we are nearly six years later still watching cats sleep on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, we've enjoyed watching all of the classes over the years. Some of our favorites have been the Squints, uh, Ruse Crew, uh, uh, um, Squints. I'm trying to think. Uh, am I reading that right? Because that doesn't sound. Uh, you're thinking of um, uh, uh, my brain is not activated. Uh, Ruse Crew, Chili, and uh, her extra beanie babies, the bath time kitties. Uh, Tiffany and her breakfast babies and Chai, whom she adopted as one of her own and verse with her record number of kittens from two litters. And of course, who could forget Tempest and Teacup and the love they had for one another as they shared mom cat duties. What great memories uh, most of those are. <laughs> most, I say most of them. Uh, you know, again, my brain is not uh, working as well as maybe it ought to. Maybe not. Thank you for allowing strangers from all over the world into your home every day to watch these adorable kittens and their wonderful moms. You are both extraordinary people who are making a difference in the lives of hundreds of cats. I would love to have Mr. A's job of staying home and raising kittens. I know it's a lot of work and cleaning, but you make it look fun and easy. I hope to be able to watch KA for years to come and maybe someday adopt a KA kitten or mom cat. Thank you again for all that you do and have a wonderful holiday season. Spoogles and boops. Uh, from Kelly, who is Scarlet Fire on Discord, and Jeremy, also Cinna and Mutiny. Thank you so much. What an uplifting and positive note. I really appreciate it. And uh, it, it, I, I think it's fun and it's nice of you to sort of reinforce how important that website is in, in bringing in viewers to Kitten Academy, uh, which is in turn important to me because it helps bring in adopters, which is the, the ultimate important thing. Um, so, uh, I, I do appreciate you mentioning how, how vital that was in your personal enjoyment of uh, Kitten Academy. It's a, it's a good reminder to me that I need to get on top of that along with everything else again, 
Uh, and we're working towards that. So, you know, uh, I know in, in due time, it is, uh, I say it too often, but <clears throat> um, we certainly will get there. So, all right. Uh, thank you again. Just uh, that, that, that means so much to me, all of it. Um, it it's very sweet. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is a cute drawing of a bunch of people skating at a city skating rink uh, at nighttime. And it says, oh, season's greetings. Happy New Year from, oh, Jenny and Jimmy and Winnie and Gary. And the city skating rink is something we did together where I realized I'm not as good at ice skating as I thought. Uh, but it turns out that Jimmy is a spectacular at it. Uh, who knew? Um, so um, that's uh, fantastic. They left a note as well, but the note says it's uh, for me and DJ. So I will read that part later. So great to hear from you guys this way. Uh, all right. Here's one with the gang from Snoopy from Peanuts here on the front of the card. And um, it says on the back, it is from Pattern Weaver on Discourse. Let's open that up. A uh, very sparkly Christmas carol from the whole Peanuts gang. Sing a song, Christmas, make a joy joyful noise, let everyone rejoice. Dear DJ and Chris, I'm sitting here laughing at Kahooligans attacking the paper kitties from the school students in Montreal. Kids ask such great questions. I those cards from, from those kids uh, at the uh, coronation school, I believe, are so special. Uh, I think I'm going to have to hang those up, actually. Um, and uh, the, the folks who put on the KA Con every year asked if I could make sure that they are set aside to actually show off at the next KA Con, which I also think is wonderful. Uh, I have had a wonderful year with Etch and Trace. They are so loving and smart and playful. They learned everything they should at Kitten Academy. From you both, the faculty, Mama Mural, Mama Roo, and their big class of fellow kittens, the love you showed them shines through. Through, uh, though, my, through my, though my summer teaching keeps me from attending KACON, oh, it's funny, it came up twice here, thanks to the organizers for the online access in 2022. It was great to see some of the people I know only from the Discord chat. Enjoy the holidays. I hope 2023 is a healthy, happy year for you both and your families. Hugs and kittens from Pattern Weaver, Etch and Trace, plus Ronnie and Elvis, their uncle cats. Well, thank you so much, Pattern Weaver. That is nice. And uh, um, it's nice to hear from you and from Etch and Trace. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's also nice to hear that the online portion of the KA Con is appreciated. Uh, even though the online, even the online portion is really just uh, for people that are on our Patreon slash Discord, um, it is it is nice to know that uh, that, that extra effort that uh, TFP Tech and the whole gang of planners put into making that happen is worthwhile because I, I you know none of that stuff just happens. Uh, it is some wonderful people who uh, who coordinate all. Speaking of wonderful people who coordinate things. Um, uh, DJ, uh, you know, doesn't talk about the magic photo frame too often, but just this morning she was like, there's already pictures of um, uh, the boy on the, the magic photo frame this morning. She was sitting there making her breakfast and she saw him come up and was so happy about it. Hogwash, the boy. Um, so uh, that's, uh, yeah, also much appreciated. Okay. <clears throat> Well, uh, one, two, there's still a, a tiny stack here. That would be perfect amount for tomorrow if uh, this all like takes a little more than. So yeah, let's see. Well, I'll, I'll, after this card, we'll put the rest off presumably until tomorrow, unless we just happen to have enough time at the end, and then we'll wrap it back around and read the rest of the cards at the end. I hope this is on the, the stream. If you need to see it from this side, let me get a picture of this. He's act. She that's Flim Flam is actually playing and. Uh, like one half through the the space station here playing with this ball. Uh, I wish I could actually put it on the screen, but if I do, the mailbag recording will end. I need to fix up that somehow. Okay. Uh, Meow Cr Christmas. It's a bunch of cats on Christmas packages and ornaments. And it says, time to pause and celebrate the season. Chris and DJ, thanks so much for all that you do for kittens, mom cats, and pregnots. Also, for providing such a welcoming, friendly place for all of us. 
A friend told me about KA back in 2020, and I started watching right around that time Gab arrived. Uh, it has been an awesome few years in KA land, which has helped me and so many others deal with what has been going on outside of KA. You guys are awesome. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Diana, Calliope, and Cleo, who were originally Scrawl and Squiggle. That's so sweet. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, I mean, I, I did just say it, but, um, you know, the last few years have been a lot to get through for everybody, and I'm no exception to that. And uh, having all of you really does help. Um, so it, it definitely works both ways more than I think you know. All right. Um, let's to save the rest of the cards until either the end or until tomorrow. There's still there's as many as we would get in a normal week here. So uh, that's that's a good number uh, for potentially for tomorrow. And let's open something. Well, let's start with this. This is easy. There's only one person who gives us the triangle. Raspberry. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Spaceballs reference that I just I didn't fully commit to. But uh, all right. Let's see here. So we know what this has got to be, I think. Indeed it is. It is noodle sticks. Look at all those noodle sticks. Okay. And a card. Whoop. The note. Suitable for all audiences. I like that. Hogwash's noodle stick being sent straight to his forever family. Oh, well, that's that's very kind of you. Uh, that I was worried that I was going to have to do that, which I am going to have to do. I'm, I'm behind now on sending out stuff, especially since there were so many things in the last set of adoptions where... Everybody was flying, and I said, don't worry, I will mail this stuff out. Uh, uh, now that the holidays are officially, well, almost officially over, uh, I really should make that my next number one priority for this week in particular. We'll see about that. As you can see, the noodle sticks are always a good toy. And this card is so cute. It is a cat sleeping in a rattan, one of those, what do you call those? There's got to be a name for the, the rattan, the big round rattan chairs. You'll see it. Uh, with a bunch of plants, it's very pretty. It says, you plant seeds of kindness everywhere you go. Thought this kitty looked a bit like Kahooty. Oh, indeed it does. Uh, so I had to send it. Enclosed to the noodle sticks for the Kahooligans, the tinies in cahoots, and for the tiny tubs and their super mama thimble. Also enclosed, my everlasting love and admiration. Aw, Janice. Uh, of course, that's from Janice C., who uh, may not be the official inventor of the noodle stick, but, uh, you know, as close as we're ever likely to get, so why not? Uh, so, let's see. This is uh, Thimble gets the cyan. Barrel, of course, gets the black one. We have Cistern getting the yellow one, and that would leave the orange one, I'm assuming, for Mom, uh, which I'm sure is labeled here. There it is. Uh, not Mom. I meant Silo. Yes. Okay, easy for me. I got the Thimble. Yes, it's Mom. Silo is the boy. Okay, we got it. Orange one for the boy. I know you want to play with these, but they are not for you. Uh, then we have the ones for this class. Cahoots gets the silvery gray one. We have Hoodwink with this uh, neon pink. Flim Flam with the purple. Mayhem with this reddish, uh, neon reddish color, I guess. That's what I'm going to go with. And that leaves Bamboozle with the green one. Uh, they are all going to love these, of course. Even Maggie. All right. I think I've come around on the longer length being probably the right length to use for these things in general. Although it is handy to have a short one if you're just like laying in bed and you don't have much room to move around for them. Uh, yeah. Uh, wonderful, Janice. Thank you so much. I'm going to put these back in here so nobody tries to chew through somebody else's noodle stick before they even get it. Uh, and then we'll get those all set out in the endowments. Okay. These I need to set somewhere else so that I don't uh, accidentally throw them away with the envelopes. Okay. Uh, this is wrapped in the, the brown paper, which is such a, a cool thing to do. And it's got these cute little kitty stickers on the front, too, uh, playing with yarn or maybe sleeping with yarn. And this one's sitting out in flowers. All right. Let's see here. Well, I think I cut through part of the box. Oh, which is, it looks like it's actually some interesting kind of box. There. Maybe we should unwrap that. Oh, I really messed up the box now. It has clocks on it. Oh, it says Beekman 1802. Interesting. That's more goat soap. 
Boy, if we ever get a goat, this is going to be so clean. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see if that's what's in here. If it's just a recycled box, which is great. Ooh, I think it is a recycled box. And inside we have a note, good, but something more than a note. We have some beautiful art. So uh, Christmas tree ornaments. They are uh, postcards. Oh, Maggie wants to, to bite them though. We can't have that. They're postcards that have uh, little kitties on them, but they've been decorated with glitter and um, uh, glitter in these cute borders. And you can see they've got little bits of string to hang them. That's a really cute way to repurpose these vintage postcards as uh, Christmas tree ornaments. So we recycled all around the Beekman box, which I tore up on accident. And uh, okay, to read on stream, perfect. So on this beautiful Christmas letterhead, we have Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. We know this is a little belated, but we were working on some new Christmas decorations over the past few days and thought you all would enjoy these. We love the vintage feel of these postcards and decided to fix up a few of the kitty ones for you. We have, over the years, adorned past cards and used them as ornaments and decor. We wanted you to know that we appreciate all you do for the kittens and mom cats. We watch Kitten Academy on YouTube often and enjoy keeping up with all the news and antics. Give Cahoots and Thimble lots of spoogles for us. Hope you have a great holiday season. Happy holidays from the Megs family. Oh, uh, the Veggie Cat on Discord. I usually use first names, not last names, but whatever. Uh, I can't promise to always get it right. So, Veggie Cat on Discord. P.S. Thank you for our Christmas card. We got an Ari one. Oh, oh no. Spoilers. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is, I'm just ruining everything today. He's our favorite. Okay. Well, that's cute. <clears throat> got to rewind and erase that. All right. Here we go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> all right. Uh, keep rolling, everybody. Move on past. <clears throat> wow, who knew I was going to be the one? Oh, okay to read on air. I saw kittens on TikTok playing with tutus, so I got some for my kittens, and they love them. So I thought your kittens might like to play on and in and with these. Hmm. From Kent's mom, tutus for kittens. Who knew? Well, oh, wow, that's like a human tutu, though. It's not a kitten tutu. I expected a little tutu. Oh, you know, you're going to tear up these wonderful cards. Let's not do that. Play with this one. Play with this. Here, let me set this back up for you. Here we go. Where's the other one? Did you? Did somebody run away with the other one? No, it's right there. Okay, this pet is in the pile. There we go. Okay, let's not have it. There, chew that. There you go. Chew on this, buddy. Where was I? Okay. Uh, that was... Uh, um, Yes, Veggie Cat. All right, Veggie Cat, thank you. Oh, my goodness. I need more coffee. Uh, this, like I said, looks like a human-sized tutu, which does, you know what? It seems like this kind of material, though, is exactly the kind of thing a kitten would love to play with because it's, uh, you know, it's kind of that same thing that the tunnels are made out of where it's semi-transparent, and kittens love that because they can see each other through it, um, and that makes it so much more fun. That's why the... The transparent or the tunnels that are made of mesh, in, in my opinion, and I think in the kitten's opinion, so much more fun than the ones that are opaque. Plus, they work a little better on the, the YouTube, don't they? I don't know if this is going to fit around my waist, but I totally want to try. Um, can I can I put it on from the top even? Let me just see. I, I think I'm going to need a bigger tutu, everybody. Oh, oh, eh, eh, I can't. I can't put it on from the top, that's for certain. All right, let's just do this, though. All right, hang on now. Oops, I need a 4-4. Four, four. That's what I need. Okay. Kittens. Oh, hey, no, that's good. I feel I feel pretty. Nice. Let me tuck in my shirt. DJ wants me to tuck in my shirt all the time anyway, so. Well, now I think I'm ready for kittens. All right, kittens, you want to play? Let's play. I'll take this shirt off for a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Put it right over there. Hey, you took my seat. Are you going to do mailbag from here? One plan? Are you? Okay. 
That's nice. I'll tuck this t-shirt just a little bit. It doesn't need to be that tight on me, does it? Okay. There we go. Well, who wants to play with me now, huh? Mayhem's, Mayhem's into it. Mayhem's already like, ooh, what is this all about? What is it all about? Thank you very much for my new tutu. And maybe the kittens will get to play with it too. Okay. What's next? Oh, well, here, I got to grab this from back here because this came all the way from Argentina. This is from uh, Flavia. Uh, yes, AKA Flavia, uh, our uh, Argentinian correspondent. And I see you on our Discord all the time. But it is so sweet to, to get a Christmas uh, package from you. Really uh, not necessary, by the way. I mean, you just, I, you, sh you shouldn't have, and that goes uh, double for everybody. Uh, yeah, honestly, um, but, but thank you in advance here. Let's see if I can even get this open correctly. There we go. Without causing too much destruction. Aw, well, this would have gone perfect under our Christmas tree and so shiny. My goodness, but I guess uh, showed up just a we already did our under the Christmas tree Christmas. Oh boy, I was thinking this was going to be in here. Uh, the Alpha Yores, I guess. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but uh, these things are so yummy. A little too yummy, perhaps. And you sent a, a nicely packaged box of those. I also see plenty of other candies in here that are also ready to go. The uh, Kinder chocolate with milk inside. There we go. A couple of those. Manticole, uh, which um, I think you may have sent this before. It doesn't look entirely unfamiliar. It looks uh, from the picture like a nougat-y thing, kind of, sort of. I'm not sure. Uh, we will find out again if we've had it before. And then another little tiny box here. So let's take those and let's put this plastic away. Look at that, they do enjoy playing with my tutu. And I look pretty, so it does two things. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so uh, the note right here with this cute little kitty on it, the one from the Aristocats, the Prats, uh, sorry. Let's see. And the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Hello again from a hot Argentina. It is already summer here. First of all, I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for both of you and for the entire KA family. I hope this 2023 will bring you much happiness, good health, love, and many mom, cats, and kittens to help. I would like to thank you once again for the hard work and absolute dedication that both of you put in day by day to carry on with the Academy. Thank you for always having a positive outlook on everything. Thank you for making us laugh all the time with your jokes. Thanks for the lovely photos and videos we see every day in the chat. For the cooking classes, the sweet moments together with DJ, and thank you above all for the immense love that you give us every day. The best thing that happened to me was to meet this beautiful community and join the Discord chat. KA is my safe and happy place. To all the people who love KA and still have not been encouraged to join the chat, I would tell them not to hesitate to do it. The people here are very friendly, fun, and always willing to help. And the best part is that thanks to the generosity of the adopters, we can enjoy photos, videos, and stories of all the kittens, moms, and non-moms that have passed through KA. I hope this box arrives on time, and if not, let's celebrate Christmas in July. Uh, I send you and Dr. DJ many hugs, kisses, and all my love. I love you both, Flavia. Thank you, we love you too, uh, we, we definitely do. Thank you for having been such a wonderful, positive uh, force on our Discord yourself and, and uh, always greeting people that are new to the Discord. I appreciate that so much. It's, it makes it a, a, such a welcoming place. Um, it's just, it's, you, are, you are definitely part of the reason why it's such a great place, uh, along, I guess, you know, with, with many others that, that um, help to make it wonderful. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Again, it's, I recognize it's one of those things that just, it doesn't happen on its own. It doesn't happen on accident. It's, it's all of you working together 
uh, or, or maybe working together might even be putting it too strong. Just, just working towards the same purpose, you know, uh, of, of being in, engaging and, and positive and, uh, you know, friendly. Friendly, I think, is really it. Um, you know, we don't always see enough of that. And uh, the KA Discord, though, is certainly a place that is that and then some. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you so much for these presents. Uh, you know, if they had arrived a week ago, I would put them under the tree. They're so, this paper is so sparkly and wonderful. Oh, my goodness. But I think what I'll do is I will open them um, right here. Feliz Navidad, Mr. A. Aw, with a little heart. That is so sweet, too. All right, let's see here. I believe it's probably some kind of clothing. Uh, I wear that, that blue sweater still that you sent. Uh, I, I, I wear that all the time. Oh, this is cool. What, a, oops, what is this? The cat dragon. Oh, there's a couple things. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> wild, wild cat. And it is a cat wearing uh, the Clint Eastwood's outfit from the, the uh, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Wow. Uh, he looks just like I did on Halloween that one day uh, a couple years ago. The exact same outfit. I love it. That's so cute. <laughs> With the sunset behind him. Oh, that's that's adorable. And it's a very soft t-shirt too. My goodness. Quality stuff. Uh, and then this one is, oh, Enter the Cat Dragon. I see with Bruce Lee. Uh, and it is a cat there in the Bruce Lee outfit from Enter the Dragon. That's really cute, actually. Uh, and kind of a thing, I guess, because I've got that, that chocolate bar that has also a cat and Enter the Dragon uh, jumpsuit, right? It's like right over there. I kept the, I ate the chocolate, of course, but I kept the packaging because I thought it was so cute. So it's wonderful that, that now I've got it on a t-shirt too. I don't have to necessarily keep a wrapper from a chocolate bar that's three or four years old now. It's so cute though. All right. Uh, thank you for that. Okay. Uh, some of these aren't labeled. So let's just open those right up as well. I bet I can guess what's in here too. Let's find out though. I won't say it. Let's just let it be a surprise for everybody, I think. It is socks. Yes. All right. Uh, oh, wow. This is a Spock sock. Ooh, Captain Sock uh, giving the Vulcan hand sign. And this one, I can see the word Star Wars. Oh, that's uh, Chewbacca socks. Chewsaka. Hey, look at that. It works both ways. We've got Dr. Sock and Chewsaka. Uh, <laughs> I think that works, doesn't it? All right. I, I, uh, now the, my toes will be extra hairy. Uh, that's super sweet. Thank you for that. Those are cute. Hmm. Dr. Sock and Chusaka. This coffee must be working. Okay. More socks. These are clearly DJ-sized socks, I think. Uh, so cute. These have little tiny kittens on them. And she could probably even mix and match, although I don't think she does. We've got one with a little Siamese or color point here and with this adorable little white kitty. Um, and DJ does wear fun socks uh, to work. So that is something that she definitely will wear. Those are super cute. And finally, we have this one that says Feliz Navidad, Dr. DJ. All right, perfect. And I'm going to open it for her because she is upstairs. She gets a three-day weekend after working so hard for the whole Christmas holiday. Uh, she gets to have a three-day weekend this week, so she's going to be here all day today, all day tomorrow, and all day Monday, too. So this is uh, the girl with the pearl earring, but it's a cat. It's the cat with the pearl earring. That is really cute. Uh, beautiful eyes on that cat, too. Uh, that's, that's nice. That's fine art. And this one appears to be a, a cookie monster. <laughs> Wearing a uh, dark, a Darth Vader hat, rather. Uh, that's so. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. That is very cute. Uh, that's that's adorable. So, DJ can be tempting me with those cookies. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, oh, and one more thing. You sent a very tiny little box. Uh, let's see. There's tape shut. So let's just untape it here. If we can. All right. Inside the oh, it's a tiny little glass. It looks like a tiny little glass puppy with a pacifier. That is so cute. Oh my goodness! Wow, it's like a little tiny hand blown glass, and the with the pacifier on the front too. So it's a little tiny baby puppy. 
You cannot have it, Maggie. No, you don't get to have a little glass puppy. Uh, but that would be so cute with DJ's collection of tiny things. Thank you. That's uh, it's so wonderful. So thank you for all of that. And of course, the the candy that we mentioned right up front, um, because that's super important, obviously. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that as well. It is really sweet of you to send all of that stuff. And I know it will get plenty of use around here. Uh, let's see, I can put your note over here. I can put that over there. All right, how are we doing for time? Good, it does look like it's going to be very easily now a two-day mailbag. So uh, good, we plan for that. But that doesn't mean we have to stop right this minute. We have this package right up front, which I recognize the handwriting on the top. I'm getting used to these things. This has got to be from Bob and Ruth. So let's check it out from Bob and Ruth. Come on now, Flim Flam. You don't want to be under this box. It's not that heavy, but still. All right. I think this is from Bob and Ruth. Let's find out. Let's make sure. I could be wrong, too. That could happen. Not that it's ever happened before. Uh, let's see here. Meowie Christmas, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, the note. Have yourself a meowy little Christmas. And it's got a kitten uh, with really big eyes, a little orange kitten with big eyes wearing a Santa hat and tangled up in some Christmas lights. Speaking of tangled up, oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Settle down, settle down. Come on, I, you can play with the choo choo, but not with this plastic so much. Come there we go. Okay. All right, so have yourself a meowy little Christmas. Oh, and it is a pop up card with uh, ooh, a bunch of kittens all in a Christmas scene. There's one knocking over the Christmas tree, a big fat cat getting the. Uh, wow, this is a lot going on in this pop up card. Um, so there are books, the Christmas cat tales, there's presents, there's cats everywhere and everything, there's cat slippers. And uh, um, there's a there's an Ari cat wearing uh, reindeer horns, antlers in the back, reindeer horns, antlers. There's uh, all kinds of little kittens. But I think my favorite, of course, is the centerpiece is this giant fat cat swiping the Christmas tree topper and knocking over the Christmas tree at the same time. So now that I've described some of that, let's put that here for a minute. Let's see if Maggie wants to eat it like she typically does. Of course, these kids are having too much fun with my choo choo. They really are having fun with that. Let me see if I can zoom in that camera right on my butt uh, in the back, assuming it's even on. Let's see. It is not. Oh, okay. Well, let's make sure that it's on. Wow. I'm sorry you've been missing that. My fault. Probably, probably because it's not pointed at anything. Also, my fault. Okay. Good choice by the people that can control the cameras because they can choose which ones are on, but they can't choose where they're pointed. So. Oh no, and now it's blocked by the tree. Well, that's fine. What are you gonna do? I guess I could scoot over just a little bit this direction. Hang on, let's just do that. Okay. Don't anybody get rolled over though. All right, well, it's not perfect, but it is something. So there we go, we got what we got. All right, where was I? Before I interrupted myself with all the camera work, we were going to read this note which says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty at KA, Meowy Christmas to you all. We hope you have a great holiday season filled with love and joy. We're so grateful for all you both do for the kitties. There are no better kitty kittens and mom cats on the planet once they have come to, uh, to the KA for loving and learning. Merry Christmas, Bob and Ruth. We hope you like the cookies. Oh, wow. And... Coke bear basket to hold them. Hmm. The basket is handmade of longa burger. Longa burger? Is that am I you can read? That? I don't know what that means. In Dresden, Ohio, USA. Enjoy the new hat and blanket for faculty and the surprise inside basket. Merry Christmas. Wow, that does sound like a wonderful Christmas. Uh, from Bob and Ruth. Let's see how much of that is in here. I think you uh, teased this also in an earlier mailbag, so let's see here. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, DJ's going to love this basket. I can see that already. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a lid. This says basket lid. Okay. Oh, man. This basket is something. It is a Coca-Cola Christmas basket. Look at that. Just like you said. 
It's got this cute little red border at the top. It's just very simple, uh, but it's got a great shape to it. Like simple, but, but perfect, I guess is what I would say. Uh, and I think a wooden lid that sits on there. Oh, it is. Oh, look at that. It is the bear, the Coca-Cola polar bear. You can see the lid is his head, and then this is his round body. And this is his red scarf that he wears. It all comes together. That makes too much sense. Oh, DJ's going to think this is wonderful. I think it's wonderful, too, of course, but I'm excited for DJ's sake. Uh, and then inside, you have included, wait for it. Um, let's see. It has a, a plastic liner, I think, which could be good for making it into a, perhaps a planter. Um, that, that would be a cool way to put some flowers in it without worrying about them going everywhere. It has a little Coca-Cola polar bear Christmas tree ornament. Isn't he adorable? And oh, a Coca-Cola hot air balloon Christmas tree ornament. How cool is that? That's that's pretty awesome actually. It's like a vintage. It's real glass and it's not. It's it's a. Uh, it looks like a hot air balloon. It's even got a little sparkly basket hanging from the bottom. Uh, that is really pretty. Wow, I love it. I'm gonna put it right back in here so we keep all the Coca-Cola stuff together. The bear head on top. Look at that fatty bear. I love it. That makes too much sense. That is so cute. Oh, cold polar bear basket set. All right. Uh, that's beautiful. I'm going to put the card right back in there, too. There we go. Perfect. Wow. Uh, we have, oh, you mentioned a hat uh, and the blanket. You said the hat and blanket for faculty, and I thought you meant you were going to send us a hat and a blanket for faculty, but you meant a hat for faculty and a blanket for faculty. I can see that now. Uh, this is a cute little blanket. It's got these smiley kitties on one side and a paw print plaid on the other and a little tiny naughty and nice Christmas hat that has this nice on one side, naughty on the other with a little chin strap. Now I'll tell you, when we do photos of kittens, uh, we don't normally do the chin strap because that makes them extra irritated. It's nice to have. Sometimes sometimes the kitten will use it and then it's, it keeps it on a little bit longer. But when we typically are taking photos of the kittens, we just do it without anything. And we set it on there and we have our camera set to work very quickly uh, by remote and set it on there and just grab the picture before it falls off. Uh, because typically they don't, they don't go for it. But uh, you don't seem to mind too much as long as I'm holding me, do you? This is, uh, this is Hoodwink, I think. Are you Hoodwink? Yes, you are Hoodwink. There you go. All right, well, you're naughty. Are you nice? Let's see which way it stays on. That'll tell us. Oh, you must be nice. Whoop. Okay, well, that came off too, though. How about you, Maggie? Are you naughty or nice? I don't care. I'm not participating in this game. All right, that's a cute hat, though. I love it with the little green pom-pom on the top. And a nice soft blanket for the faculty. I wonder if Custard would like this in his favorite chair that he is now occupying. Perhaps. All right. It would match it pretty well. And then finally, but definitely most importantly, we have a box of cookies. Now, I can't tell because I can't see any of the cookies, but let me just smell, all right? Let's just smell these. Mm, could be... Oh, I see. They're hard to smell because they're also wrapped up in plastic. That's why I can't see them. So maybe they're all different. Let's find out. I have to know. Okay. Those seem like some of the lemon lavender cookies. Yes, they certainly are. Lemon lavender cookies. Oh, so good. I'm telling you, those things were... You've sent them to us twice now, and you've given us the recipe, which we have not yet tried to make on our own. They're so good. Oh, my goodness. I know lavender seems like a weird uh, flavor for a cookie, but with the lemon, oh, they all are, okay. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to devour these. Oh, thank you so much for sending those. That is so nice of you. I think when the, I think the first time you sent them, you mentioned that maybe uh, it was Bob's, no, it was your favorite cookie or Bob's favorite cookie. I don't know. You also sent some chocolate chip cookies, which were very good chocolate chip cookies, but these lemon lavender cookies are spectacular. I've never had anything like them. I am really looking forward to that. Uh, and then you said also when my mom was in town, you said some just for her and my family. And I promise they got to eat at least one of them, uh, or smell anyway. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, Bob and Ruth, thank you for thinking of us for Christmas. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to use your box now for all this stuff into. 
So that's a nice size box for all of this. There we go. Organize things just a little bit. Put it back here. And maybe we can put, oh, you can knock some of this stuff into the box. Oh, this paper's so shiny, though. We have to do something fun with this shiny wrapping paper. I think DJ would want us to use this somewhere. Maybe give it to the kittens in a tunnel upstairs or something like that. We'll take the cards off. Very shiny. Oh. Perfection. All right. Hey, that's our hour. Um, how do we feel about leaving everything else till tomorrow? Should I open one more? Open one more? Uh, let's see. Raise your hands. Uh, Maggie, can you see? I can't. I can't see. What do you see out there? I know it's that way, actually. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Neither do I. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I guess uh, Maggie's going to sit right in front of the camera now. She's going to really have a look. Uh, good. Well, okay. Um, let's see. These are all hand packaged except for these two. So let's split the difference and we'll open this thing with a drop shipment. That way I know. Uh, oh, also from Pattern Weaver. All right, perfect. That's uh, etch and trace again. And then this will be our last one, and then we'll save the rest for tomorrow. But remember, uh, mailbag on Sunday, we start an hour later. Oh, wow. Oh, I know what these are. These are those door hanging toys that are so fun. And the note says, uh, well, it says enjoy your gift. Oh, I'm running late. These are for Cahoots and any of our kittens that are KA, that are at KA when you open this. It's okay to extend to Thimble's babies if that's easier. Have a great life, kids. <laughs> Have a great life, kids. I love it. I know you mean that very sincerely, uh, but it sounds somehow funny with the, just the, the phrasing, I guess. The kids part makes it sound kind of dismissive, like, all right, kids, have a good one. <laughs> I don't know. Have a great life, kids. I'm out. Uh, so there's six of these, and they are, in fact, uh, the really nice version of the door-hanging cat tree, uh, cat toy. That's the toy that uh, you hang it on uh, a door frame where you've got the trim, the molding around the door frame. This this latches onto it. It's a piece of metal. I know you can't see it in there. It's a piece of metal that's shaped kind of like a stethoscope uh, horns. So it hangs around the top of the doorway. This one also includes a suction cup. So I guess you could put it somewhere on a window if that's what you had. That's a nice. Also, uh, unlike the ones that you get that are just a bird, this one has a generic clip on the end and then a collection of various toys that you can put onto it. it makes it even better. And then also, unlike the common one that is just a bird, um, this one, the, the metal in this is very strong. This is like a lifetime version of that that will probably last forever. Uh, the string might break and need to be replaced, but the holding part is going to last forever. The clip's going to last forever. And you've got a collection of toys that are easily replaced with any toy out of any toy collection you can get. So any of the wand toy sets, for instance, you can put one of those, the red and white mice that are so popular would easily go on the end of one of these. Uh, they are fantastic as far as door hanging toys goes. Uh, so thank you so much for that. And I know they will go great. Now, I'll, what I'll do is um, if I, I, I believe I do have a whole bunch of stuff that has to go to hogwash still. Don't I? Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe we did clear hogwash completely. So if we if we have to mail anything to hogwash, we'll mail him one of these with it. And if we don't, then we'll pass it on to the next guy uh, just to avoid mailing just for this. I, I really appreciate you, by the way, saying so specifically that that's okay with you. That uh, eases my conscience uh, quite a bit. So I, I do appreciate that. Okay. The rest of everything we are going to save for tomorrow. We're going to start up at 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow and uh, open the rest of these and read the rest of the cards. And I'm very excited about it. Uh, but uh, as this is DJ's three-day weekend, that also kind of makes it my three-day weekend in a sense. Uh, I'd, I'd like to spend some time with her when I get the opportunity. And this is certainly that opportunity. Plus, I have a lot of regular work to get done. Uh, so uh, there'll be some of both of that, I guess. Uh, all weekend. I'm going to leave this card out. Uh, I'm going to take the card part actually and put it with the cards. That way it doesn't get consumed by the cats, but uh, I'm going to leave it out for Maggie to, to play with and uh, probably wreck. I say Maggie, of course, any of the kittens can end up going for it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's sort out the cards that are already open from the ones that aren't yet. Oh, a purple heart sticker. How cool is that? Okay. Uh, sticker, I said it's a stamp though. Okay, these we're going to take upstairs, I think, with that. Oh, Maggie's on the wall. Ooh, wow. Can I get a picture before she comes down? Nope. 
Oh, no, I hit the wrong button. I didn't get a picture at all. All right. Maggie loves to climb the climbing wall. I don't know if I mentioned this. Uh, the climbing wall is in the room upstairs, which is now my office upstairs. I took all the hardware off of the climbing wall, but I left the rug up and Maggie loves it that way. I think she prefers it that way because it's just like she climbs the screen door, she climbs the windows. Uh, that's her thing. She does it every day and none of those have any hardware on them. They're just a screen door and windows. So I think she prefers a clear climbing wall with nothing on it for her to climb up and hang on. And she comes into my office all the time and just climbs up the wall and sometimes she climbs around back and forth on the wall. Uh, and then jumps down and uh, just loves it. So uh, it's kind of a fun idea. I think uh, anybody that, that you know doesn't has a blank wall and a spare rug they wouldn't know what to do with otherwise. It's a, it's pretty easy to do too. It's fun. Uh, I am actually thinking about taking the rug I had intended to put on this wall that's too big and putting it in the den uh, where the you know that little fake TV and stuff is on the other side of the first floor here got a big blank wall in there and I think that that rug would cover it up and look real cool uh, and then just leave it no hardware or anything just put it up like a tapestry and, and let Maggie run up I bet she would be up and down that thing every single day she says what she loves to do she loves to she runs all the way across the house and then when she gets into the room that she's going to she runs up the wall and onto the window she'll do that when she goes into the sunroom or when she comes into here or when she comes into my office uh, but those are really your only options right now. So when she zooms into other rooms, she's just got to zoom someplace else. <laughs> um, because the, the sunroom is the only room in the, this house where the screens are on the inside. Uh, so she does it there, but not anywhere else. I don't know why I talked about all that. But anyway, there you go. That's Maggie. Now she's going to sit at the screen door and look at me and wait for birds to come. Uh, I had that little snowman bird feeder that came in a previous mailbag is directly outside the window. I put it up real close to the house so the kids could enjoy it from here because it's been too cold to go out in the cat run. Uh, today it's not. I finally opened the cat run for the first time in like a week or two. Um, but the snowman is still right here at the door and it has been attracting birds all the way up to the door, which has occasionally been fun for everybody. All right. Okay. Enough last minute rambling here. Let me get this stuff put away. We'll wrap up mailbag. Uh, I'll probably wear this choo-choo upstairs and see how long it takes DJ to even notice. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, all right. Then we'll wrap up mailbag just as soon as we can here. And then tomorrow at 11 o'clock, not 10 o'clock, so an hour later, 24 hours from 10 minutes ago. How about that? Oh, these stickers are so nice. Those have got to go upstairs. This has got to go upstairs. This is all upstairs. This is not upstairs. Though. The candy's going to go right here. I bring it upstairs. I just lay in bed and eat candy all day. I've done that way too much lately. I just, I'm, oh, I got to get back on a diet. As soon as I eat these cookies and candy, then, then I do. Oh, I was just reminded uh, that the cakes in a box that came in last week's mailbag, uh, uh, wow, yeah, let me give, uh, so the, the, somebody sent uh, a couple boxed cakes, a uh, chocolate one and a vanilla one, and I have not opened the chocolate one yet, uh, but DJ opened the vanilla one and tried it, she says it's actually great. Uh, she really likes it. She's still working on it, but, um, I, you know, we weren't sure that a, a cake in a box uh, was going to be great, but it really is. I tried a little bite of it, too. It's soft, and it tastes just like a regular cake in a box. Who knew? All right, what was I about to do? Uh, make sure this camera is zoomed out now that we're moving all around the room, I think. Which way is right? Oh, that's not it. Okay, there we go. Think like that. All right, good. All right, let's get all this stuff put away uh, like we do. Oh, I don't recognize this toy. Did this come out of a package that I didn't see? Or is it just a toy that was here all along that I just don't recognize? I guess I'm not sure. These should go downstairs, but I think oh, this is the only thing going downstairs right now. Oh, no, these two. Okay, I can take this all down. In fact, I can put these in here. Okay, that I'll be right back.
kind of overcast today. I think you know, it opens up. Even as overcast as it is, it's still too bright for the camera, isn't it? That's fine. Here's your mailbag. Here we go. Hi, you two. You love that thing, huh? You want me to leave it out for a little bit? Just worried that Loganberry is going to pee on it. He's locked up right now. So. I'm sorry. Uh, these kids have just no respect for feet. Uh, I keep encountering them at the doors, too. You know, normally, oh, wow, that's twice in a row. If I go through the doors, you know, as a, if you have a cat, you know this, this maneuver that you do. When you open the door just enough to get through, you kind of put your foot through first, and then you turn, and then you bring your other foot through to kind of make sure the cats stay back. These kids have zero respect for it. Like they, they, I have to push them away. Not like they're trying to get through the door either. They just are going to sit right there and not move out of the way of my feet ever. Uh, and then they do that too when I'm walking. They have just, and it's again, it's not like some cats will intentionally run in front of your feet and, and kind of lay down or try to like push on your feet or attack your feet. And it's not that. It's just that they aren't going to, they don't move or they, if you're moving, they just have no idea like where you're going next or they don't seem to. So these kids, these kids have a lot more encounters with my feet than most of them do. Uh, nobody's been hurt. Thank goodness. Uh, not, not even me. Thank goodness. Uh, but uh, lots and lots of little foot encounters. More than the average. All right. This stuff's going upstairs. I will be right back. Is everything quite upstairs? I think it is.
DJ loved all the stuff, but she did describe the tutu as uh, disturbing. So I guess I'm not supposed to wear that. I know. My argument is the kids love it. I put the tutu away too because I think that's a supervised toy. So we'll let him play with it when uh, when I'm watching. But for now, that's mailbag, and we will catch up with you tomorrow at 11. Thanks again to everybody for everything. Uh, just you're all wonderful people, and uh, Merry Christmas to all of you, and Happy New Year as well. I hope that you do have a wonderful 2023, all of it. Um, and I hope that uh, you check in with us once in a while so that doesn't have to be the only chance I get to tell you that all year. Okie dokie.